Say hi, Luna. So yeah, I, um, I don't know how many people know on here, but we are having a wolf reintroduction in here in Colorado, and they just released ten. And um, oh, there's a, there's just a lot of hysteria and any wolf myths out there. I mean, some of them are just totally ridiculous. But um, I put out other videos about wolf myths and the truth about wolves and stuff that it's backed by science and anybody can go check it out and listen to but um you know if you support reintroduction and want to know more um contact cpw and give them an email telling them to support the wolves and um but we're working i'm working with some other groups now to come up with non-lethals um for ranchers to, as a gift to ranchers to help them um, stop any predating wolves. We you know wolves rarely prey on livestock. Um, it accounts for less than one percent of all the livestock loss in the wolf states up here in the in the West: Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Washington, and Oregon. Wolves account for less than one percent of their losses. And coyotes account for four times that on average. So it's pretty rare that it happens but you know they are getting well compensated they get get up to fifteen thousand dollars for a cow and um what <laughs> and i forget um thousands of dollars for a sheep too or whatever they lose livestock guardian dogs but um you know, we've got a good program here and we're in Colorado where they're offering um, non-lethals and all kinds of stuff to prevent wolf attacks, which will also prevent attacks from other predators that we have. So we're really excited about that. And we think we're offering the ranchers a pretty good deal. We've also got a Facebook group started that... Um, Gets into the truth about wolves. It's called Wolves in Colorado, Facts and Fiction. That uh, debunks a lot of the myth. And um, there's a lot of scientific studies that are posted on there too. If you want to learn more about wolves and truth about wolves, um, just go join up. Uh, a few questions you got to answer and then you're in. And there's also coloradowild.net that you can go check out. That's got a lot of, it's a website. It's got a lot of good factual information. Luna, leave them alone. Quit picking on Silas. Luna, stop it. Stop it. He ain't doing nothing to you. He ain't doing nothing to you. Get back, Luna. Luna. Luna, stop it. He can, he can whoop your butt, Luna. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, Luna. Go on, Luna. Luna, go play. Go play. Leave him alone. You see Luna here. She's... I guess what you would call the alpha female. And she wants to boss Silas around all the time and pick on him. And these guys back out, we had another snow yesterday and it's warmed up a little bit today. I think it got up to 20 degrees. There's Dobro. Hey Dobro, Dobro the Husky. Hey buddy. Luna marking, marking the spot. And this is Sparrow. He's a husky that just got back from the vet. He wandered up a couple of weeks ago. We couldn't find an owner, but he had a bad infection on his back and one and a growth on his face. And he was unneutered, so we just got him back from the vet. And they had to cut this infection out at growth. It was really, really bad. And we still don't know if it's cancer. They gotta send it off to the lab. But um, he's resting up, and we will be rehoming him. You know, if he doesn't, if it turns out not to be cancer, we'll rehome him. Outside, bro? Huh? You gonna go back outside? Tell him, bro. You gonna go outside? You gonna go outside? You gonna go outside? Let's go outside. There you go. There's a cat. Leave a cat alone. Okay, come on, we'll go. We'll go back outside. And so, yeah, that 
Colorado Wolf reintroduction has been going pretty good. But, um, you know, so much of the hysteria is not only false, it's just purely based on politics and people wanting to live in the 1800s, days that are long gone. So, anyway, it is what it is. He wheeling. The wheeling's always chilling. Huh? He ain't worried about a thing. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Good boy, Wheeler. Bear, are you coming back in? They've been out in the play area. No, he's going back out. Bear, are you coming back in? You want to come in, Bear? Huh? You coming back in? Hey, he says he thinks I'm going to be in. No. <laughs> Bear. He's not ready to come back in. He just wants to see what I'm up to. What's up, Bear? You like this weather, huh, buddy? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. What do you smell? Yeah, that's the dog. That's Sparrow, the husky. You smell him? Okay. He's not feeling well right now. Okay, come on. If you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.